Hey guys, Lee Cole here. And um, got access to um, Vlad and Stoika's new software called Thumbnail Blaster. And I'm going to show you that. But first, I want to um, make sure that uh, you understand or that you can see an example of how incredibly important thumbnails are. So I'm, I'm on YouTube right here. I just got on YouTube, notice I'm logged in, and I just typed in LinkedIn marketing just as an example. And thumbnails are these things, okay? These pictures right here, these are thumbnails. Now, these are the titles of the videos, right? So you got to think, how do you, you know, when somebody's searching on something, how are they, how are they going to choose your video or your client's video to see over all the other thousands of videos, right? Well, there's three things going on. Number one is the position. This is an ad, so forget that one. But number one is the position. This one's first. It's naturally going to get the majority of the clicks. That one's next. That one's next. And, you know, it, it, it's going to be the rare person that goes all the way down here to find stuff, right? So, position. Number two is, and, and these are not in any necessary order of importance. All three of these are super important. Num number two is the actual title, right? I think that one's probably less important than number three, the, the thumbnail. Because when you look at this, I mean, what grabs your attention? Well, I mean, you do have this hover over thing where you start to see the video, and that's pretty cool. But what makes you want to do that? Well, it's the thumbnail. So I'm, I'm just going to scroll down through here, and you, th you think about, wow, which one of these, let's get over here where we can scroll without activating this. Which one of these would you choose to look at? You know, which one of these has a good thumbnail, right? Uh, I mean, they're all okay. But, uh, you know, I mean, does anyone really pop out? Well, you know, I might say, although this one does have 25,000 views, that this particular one here does not pop out as well as some of the others, right? Uh, I mean, this may, this may be a great video. It's got 3,000 views, but it's not really popping out like the others. Here's one of um, Gary Vaynerchuk's, and you, you can you can bet Gary V knows what he's doing. His picture, uh, well, I can't hover over it and point and not activate that, but rethink your content strategy. You know that. That's a good one. Um uh, so this is, you know, so, so you get an idea about how important this is. You know, the thumbnail is like the cover of a book. You go to a bookstore or you even get on Amazon since most of us buy digital books now. And here's Neil Patel. Look, picture of Neil Patel plus LinkedIn marketing. That's a really good one. Uh, personally, I think because it's really succinct and the thumbnail matches up with the title and it's got Neil's picture. So... As I was saying, you know, you choose this very much the way you choose a book at the bookstore. I was actually just at the bookstore right after lunch and looking for a book on a certain topic. And, you know, I'm looking through the books. I look at the spines. I look at the titles. But really what's drawing my eye is the book version of a, th of a thumbnail, which is the cover. So bottom line here, thumbnails, super important. Now I want to show you something. I am inside Stoika and Vlad's new software called Thumbnail Blaster, and it is just really cool. Um, I actually linked up my YouTube account to this so that I could show you. You don't have to do that. You can use it without a, a, a YouTube account. But let's make a let, let's create a thumbnail together now, just for. Um, just so I don't bore the daylights out of you, I'm going, to, I'm going to talk you through this whole thing. But some of the busy work that I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that out of the video. I created, just so you know, I created a thumbnail just playing around with this very first time. And I guess it took me 10 minutes to get something that I actually liked. Um, and that was the very first time. No instructions for seeing the software. By the way, the software has great instructions. Here's a great help video. Click that. It's about 20 minutes long. The software is easy to use, but it will take you through the whole thing. So I looked at maybe half of that and then just dove into the software and created a pretty cool thumbnail. So here's 
what happens. So let's go to, now that I've linked up my account, Thumbnail Creator. Here we go. And notice that I can do one of two things. I can start creating a thumbnail with no video, but if my account is actually linked up to this, and I really like this feature, then I can actually go down here and find one of my thumb, you know, one of my uh, videos. And I've got about 800 down here. So uh, let's choose one that has a thumbnail that kind of sucks. I kind of like my new thumbnails, although I if you know since I'm going to be going to be getting thumbnail blaster myself for our, for our business I'm going to be making jazzing this up a little bit but uh, this thumbnail right here I really don't like this thumbnail okay uh, I bought that from somebody eh, it was better than nothing it's not that great and then I moved on to something else so let's choose this considering that the thumbnail kind of sucks and how to master LinkedIn for marketing and so notice I just clicked here and that shows that video, which put it up here, right? So we're going to go to next step. So we've chosen the video whose thumbnail we're going to be working on. And it goes to here. Now, these are thumbnail templates, all right? And uh, just by the way, you can uh, buy more. I think it's one of the upsells. You get a ton. Notice you get a ton of templates with this, but uh, you can actually buy more templates. But anyway, you can have you know the the predefined templates or or as you grow your own template or create your own templates you can go find your templates right here this is a predefined template i'm going to use this template for this video notice how to master linkedin for marketing so we've chosen our video and i'm going to redo this i want to use my own picture so we're going to uploaded this image here earlier so i'm going to use that image now granted you know instead of my scruffy face that guy does look better, but this is me. This brand's me, right? So we got my picture here. I really like this gradient, the the blue, and I like the you know the way the way it looks through. That that that's very nice. I'm I'm seeing a lot of thumbnails. I see a lot of thumbnails. Look look, look at okay, look at that guy right there, and I'll move this cursor so that you so that it doesn't activate that. But see behind him, I. I like that look and feel of thumbnails that do this. Let's see if there's another one. Yeah, he's got a nice background behind him. So I've gotten this far, and uh, I mean this isn't perfect, you know. I I would personally what I would do would be to spend some time create a thumbnail that you really like, and then you can just come back in here. You know, you can copy it and come back in here and change the wording, and that way your thumbnails have some sort of um, it's important that your thumbnails, you know, have some sort of continuity to them. So let's leave it at that, right? Okay, let's just leave it at that. So we give the template a name. Okay, you can either save it as a JPEG, which will download it to your computer, or we can hit save and continue. Save as a ping, save as a JPEG, save with a watermark, publish on YouTube. Uh, it will save your old thumbnail. So, so in other words, you don't have to go over here. I, I always save my thumbnails, but well, this thumbnail is so crappy, it's not even worth saving but <laughs> it will save your thumbnail right so we'll see it's a, it should take some time to show up here right is right here is the heart of this piece of software i mean look you can go to canva it's canva's harder to, for me canva is harder to use than blaster suite than, than thumbnail blaster okay it's just it just is but um you know, you, you, you can think all day long, hey man, I, I, I really like this thumbnail over that one, but you have no idea what your audience thinks. You have no, specifically, you have no idea, you know, when somebody searches for something and they see a thumbnail, you know, which one do they click, you know, do they click on more frequently, right? And that would be, of course, the one that you wanted to use. And, and really a split test or a series of split tests should guide you in creating the perfect thumbnail for your channel and your niche. Now, I can guarantee you, Gary Vaynerchuk probably did that, but I can guarantee you, honestly, mo most of these guys didn't do that. He, even the top ones, okay? I mean, everybody just says, okay, I need to look cool, the, the lettering needs to be readable, and I need my picture, right? Except that guy didn't get the memo about the picture. If you're a YouTube marketer, or you are helping other businesses with YouTube marketing, 
the split test feature is makes this absolutely a no-brainer purchase. You absolutely should be split testing your thumbnails. It is a pain in the neck to do it otherwise, quite frankly, but because uh, you have to switch them out, wait for traffic, blah, blah, blah. But the split test feature really, really should be something that you're using to hone in on, to hone in on the best thumbnail design for your niche. It's a great piece of software. It does one thing and it does it very well. It creates really pretty thumbnails. And with the split tester, it's gonna, you're going to be able to get thumbnails that are going to enhance your click-through rate. Thumbnail Blaster. Two thumbs up. I think it's an awesome piece of software. I know the guys who created it. They, um, re this is really, really important. They keep their software up to date and it actually continues to work month after month, year after year. I've used their software for about three or four years. I bought one of their first pieces of software. Still working, still using it for stuff. Thank you so much. I'm Lee Cole. Talk to you soon.